Uh, all right, Donald Trump is out on the campaign trail, having in effect secured the Republican nomination, and he's talking about Bill Clinton. Watch mm. this. She's married to a man who was the worst abuser of women in the history of politics. She's married to a man who hurt many women. And Hillary, if you look and see study, Hillary hurt many women, the women that he abused. She's married to a man who got impeached for lying. Nobody, nobody, perhaps in the history of politics, was worse to women or abused women more than Bill Clinton. And she's taking negative ads on me. Do you remember the famous, I did not have sex with that woman. And then a couple of months later, I'm guilty. <laughs> and she's taking negative ads on me. Look, look folks, this politics is a dirty business. So will this hurt Hillary Clinton mm. in the general election? We had Governor Mike Huckabee on the show earlier this morning to talk about that. He said, look, this is not going to be a nice little white glove election. This is going to get vicious, and you're already seeing shades of that. Listen. This will be worse than normal because the Clintons have a long, long history of scorched earth when it's necessary. Now, they will do less than that. But in this case, it's going to require an extraordinary level of just, you know, going after and, and essentially creating the equivalent of political napalm. And Donald Trump is the one guy who doesn't mind giving, not just as good as it was given, but giving it back more. I'm enjoying this. Mm. This is offending everyone in the media. Oh, it's too much. It's true, by the way. I don't, never, don't judge people's marriages. They're complicated. But if you're married to Bill Clinton, you forfeit the right to lecture me about feminism. I'm sorry, you do. You can talk about whatever you want, global warming, whatever you mm. want to put. You can't lecture me about being mean to women if you're married to Bill Clinton. No, it's a good point. He, I think Huckabee also said he'd rather dip himself in hot oil than donate money to Hillary Clinton's How did you interpret Mother's that? What do you think I, I don't know. Meant? I was trying to visualize it myself. And it, didn't, it didn't come out very well. Well, you know, economics <laughs> at the heart of this election. For a short time, we saw foreign policy, obviously, in the wake of what, had, what occurred in Paris, was at the top of everyone's minds. But economics went right back to the top right. of the charts. People, their own wallets, their own jobs, their own economies, their own local their economies. Lives. And of course, we're ahead of the West Virginia primary right now. And in the southern part of that state, some of the two of the poorest counties in the United States, obviously coal mining, a very important part of that economy in West Virginia. Hillary Clinton, of course, you'll recall, a number of months ago said that she, if she were president, she would shut down their jobs. She would shut down coal mines and run them out of business. We had Chris Hamilton on the show. He's the senior vice president of West Virginia Coal Miners Association. He, of course, put, he gave that hard hat to Donald Trump at that rally the other day. We asked him about the differences between the two. Here's what he had to say. The contrast between Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton is uh, very stark, very real. And, you know, one wants to put miners back to work and do everything possible to try to create a very viable energy industry and the other wants to continue what President Obama has effectively done and that's continue to use all the resources available to the president to ratchet down, restrict or otherwise uh, curtail energy production, energy consumption. Here, here's an insight about politics. If you tell people you hate them, they don't like it. Is that how it works? Yes, I, that's what oh. I've noticed and the Democrats have basically said to the, some of the poorest people in America, they said it out loud, we're taking your jobs away. Yeah. So why would these people like it? And by the way, if you're a defender of the average person, of the working man, of the wage earner, why are you gleefully telling them you're going to put them out of work? Well, like, why also, would you say something like that? You know, West Virginia, I feel, has long been a barometer of, for the mood of the country and how Americans are feeling. And when we had this election cycle, you were mentioning this um, in that interview earlier, is that West Virginia has long been Clinton country, right? They right. voted for Bill Clinton twice. Yes, that's uh, right. Even Hillary Clinton won back in 2008. And, and we've seen that switch it, from 2000 um, tremendously. On. We've seen a shift from 2000 on. And it's really a remarkable change in that state. I remember Joe Manchin trying to distance right. himself from, of course, that record, famously shooting, um, you know, sh shooting the, uh, the Obamacare bill, right, with a gun. Um, to separate himself from that. But so it's such a quite perfect a shift. issue. So this is like one of those boutique rich people issues, global warming, climate change. It makes, it makes affluent people feel virtuous. But the truth is the average person doesn't care because it doesn't affect them. them. No, and right. what affects them is wages. F f literally 51% right. of American wage earners make under 30000 a year. Okay, It's a much less rich country than we think it is. And these are the kind of people looking on at Hillary and... Kerry and Obama being like, what are you talking about? I'm out of work. 
That's a tragedy. That's and why you don't that, care. that exchange between Hillary Clinton, that coal exactly. miner, was, was so emotional to watch because it was, you know what, say what you want to say for politics, but this is my real life. This exactly. is my family. Exactly. This is what matters to me every single day. By the way, day. Bill Clinton never talked this way in 92. That's why he got elected twice. Hmm. Right. Because he didn't dismiss people's jobs as irrelevant. You know, he pretended he cared. Maybe he did care. I don't know, but that's how he got elected. When you openly admit you don't care about people's jobs, you're not going to get elected. Well, here's something we can all care about. It's mom's, right? It's Mother's yeah. Day. And if you don't, if you haven't gotten that gift for your mom yet, we have an <laughs> idea for you this you morning. Laugh. Courtesy of Chelsea <laughs> Where'd Clinton. Where'd you get that idea, Clinton? Chelsea Clinton, <laughs> she saved me on my Mother's Day because I didn't get a gift yet. So thank you for mm. Chelsea Clinton to put this out. Here's a campaign email that she released saying this, quote, I'm putting together a Mother's Day card for the whole campaign family to sign. We're going to give her the card and all the signatures on Sunday, and I know how much she'd appreciate hearing from you. Then she asks to donate money to Hillary Clinton. So Which, I need to give my credit card number to sign yeah. her Mother's right. Day card? Exactly. Oh, it's just a small thing. Have you thing. done this, Abby? It's just a small thing. I didn't thing. even know this was a thing until this morning. I, you know, I love when they tell us what to do on holidays, like, like <laughs> President Obama reminding us on Thanksgiving to gather up around the table and talk about Obamacare on Thanksgiving. Well, it's one thing to give money to Hillary to celebrate Christmas, which I always do, and Easter, needless to say, and Arbor Day and St. Patrick's right. Day. But Mother's Day, too? I have to give her more money? I'm yeah, just not sure my mom's going to want Come that. On, fall in line, buddy. <laughs> We're going to ask her, I hope, later in the show. I think we might show. call her later. We'll see what she has to say. Rick has already done this. Mm. Arbor Day. That's what you always give. Oh, oh that's oh, right. okay. my Hillary Clinton day. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> hey, what's going on? I know you predicted it. I was hoping that we wouldn't see rain on Mother's Day here in the Northeast. He jinxed East. it for us. And boom. No, I told you we would see it early on, but then it and would it be gone in the afternoon. So, Mothers, you celebrate this afternoon across the Mid-Atlantic and the Northeast.